What's up everybody, this is James White with Frequent Reviews bringing you product comparisons, weird gadgets, and more. Now if you happen to like this video, please consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Now today I've got four items from Big Lots that look an awful lot like a few ASEAN TV products that I've reviewed in the past. Today I'm comparing them to see how they actually stack up. But anyways, I was uh, browsing through a Big Lots the other day and I Ran across their ASEAN TV aisle, and of course I could not resist since I've done so many videos on ASEAN TV products. And I noticed several of them were similar to ASEAN TV products, but not quite the same thing. So I figured since I had all the originals, I would compare those and see how they do. Now I've done three comparisons like this in the past where I ordered items on Wish that were either advertised as an ASEAN TV product or an apparent knockoff of an ASEAN TV product. I've done three of those, but I haven't done one perusing the aisles of Big Lots before, so this is my first time doing this. But if you're interested in my Wish comparisons, I will link those above as well. And I'll link anything relevant in the description below if you don't see a link pop up from above. Here's what I got in no particular order. These are called Clear Vision Deluxe Glasses. I don't think these were actually as seen on TV. I'd never heard of them, but they look an awful lot like some of those tactical sunglasses have been advertised. I've got a drawer of them, so I'll show you that in a little bit. This is a two pack. I got two of them for 15 bucks, so this could potentially be a pretty good deal. Next up, my only non-outdoor item would be Eggs Fast, which looks an awful lot like the Egglets, which I've also reviewed in one of my Wish comparisons as well. Next up for 10 bucks, this is a pack of Solar Pathway Lights. This is a two pack. These are solar outdoor lights. Look a lot like the Bell & Howell Disc Lights. I still have mine out in my front yard. One of the four I got uh, died pretty quickly. The other three still work, but they're getting a little bit dimmer. I also have the Wish one. I might compare all three of those and see how they do. And right here we got the $15. I think the orange means it was on clearance. I'm not quite sure, but anyways, this is 15 bucks. It's the perfect hose, which looks a lot like the pocket hose. This one has brass fittings. A lot of the, the pocket hoses also have brass fittings. Uh, my pocket hose brass bullet stopped working after uh, a few months. Actually, I made it stop working. I left it out in the searing heat for an hour and it burst. But I've got the pocket hose silver bullet that came out earlier this year, and I've got two others. I did a retractable hose comparison which I'll also link below. So I'll see if this one works as well as those three do. So I've got all four items. Um, I think it's time to get started. It's just kind of just sitting in there. It's, it's not even, I guess, uh, I guess it's better than elaborate packaging, but it's just kind of rested inside there. Instructions. Oh, they even give you a nice little carrying case. Oh, two of them, two. They're not chancing out on us. These kind of look a little bit like the tech glasses. I might have to pull those out. They feel very cheap. They say reduces eye strain, glare free, improves night vision. You're gonna wear these sunglasses at night. You're not Corey Hart guys and lightweight. We'll see. This is where I film my very first scene in my very first video here on YouTube, which is completely irrelevant. But anyways, today I'm looking at the Big Lots glasses that it just it just has an as seen on tv feel to it i did notice on the bottom there's a warning here it contains dehp which in california is said to cause cancer so so don't wear these in california it might be unsafe there for you so i've reviewed quite a few glasses here at least four of them in the as seen on tv genre one from amazon and a mail time so i'm going to compare this big lots mystery as seen on tv ish glasses to all of them now let's see what we got here my drawer full of glasses. Uh, don't need night view. Don't need night ones. These are just regular sunglasses. All right, here's some. Which one are these? That's the Bell & Howell logo on that one. Which ones are these? That's from Bulbhead. I don't know which one these are. We don't need the Redshift XT. We don't, don't need the Zoomies. That's from a Halloween costume. I think these are tech glasses blue, I think. Um, i trying to remember. These are for a Walter White costume. My novelty alien glasses. Uh, I don't need those. I got a handful of glasses that was advertised. I got to figure out which is which. And yeah, I don't even bother putting them in the cases anymore because that, that drawer is overflowing with glasses. I keep adding to it. I don't really wear that type of glasses anyway, so uh, I don't really take great care of them. Not to mention that these tactical type glasses are supposed to be so tough. They should be able to handle sitting in a drawer, right? Well, maybe not. For my first test of these Big Lots glasses, let's see if they're actually polarized. This is the Big Lots glasses in question here. This is actually an Amazon pair. I did my Amazon mail time. I thought I'd throw in the mix here. These are the infamous tech glasses. Uh, these are battle vision. Uh, tech glasses blue, HD vision special ops. So the first test I'm gonna do is pull out this card that supposedly tests for 
polarization. And as you can see, there's no Statue of Liberty, but if you have a polarized glasses on, the Statue of Liberty will show up. HD vision. Statue of Liberty is there. Tack glasses blue. Statue of Liberty is there. Regular tack glasses. So far, so good. Battle vision. Statue of Liberty. Amazon. Oh. Where'd it go? Does this deserve to be on the shelf alongside them? Let's find out. Oh no, it failed. So it appears that the ASEAN TV glasses are all polarized. The Amazon and the Big Lots are not. Disappointing, but we got more to check out. All right, I've been driving around with these kind of ASEAN TV-ish glasses from Big Lots. And here's my initial observations after about a half an hour in the car. First of all, the frames are very cheap. They feel like more like they'd be dollar store glasses than $15 for a two pack of them. Number two is the, the lens is a little weird because it, it changes from light blue at the bottom to kind of an amber in the center and then back up to a darker blue at the top. So it, the, the tint you get changes depending on what angle you're looking at. There's some design features that remind me a lot of tack glasses. They're not as dark as tack glasses. Um, the, the lens, their average pair of sunglasses are nothing spectacular, but they're not polarized though. I think they're they're all right. Is seven fifty really worth it? I, I'm kind of on the fence. There's some ten dollar ASEAN TV glasses, a little bit better made that I'm that are polarized. So I, I'm I'm still I'm still trying to figure it out, but we'll keep working on it. So what I'm going to do now is show you the Big Lots glasses versus all the other ones. I'm going to hold up the Big Lots on the left and each one of them on the right. And as you'll see, there isn't a significant difference in quality of the lens between the two of them. I mean, all the lenses vary a little bit as far as the different tint. The Big Lots has kind of a weird progressive tint to it, but otherwise, I don't see a huge difference. They're all pretty cheap, and this one is actually not polarized like most of the others. So I'm not sure if you're looking for a certain tint, but it depends on what angle you're looking through, what tint you're gonna get. And finally, let's see how all these glasses look stylistically side by side. All right, let's try these solar pathway lights. Two pieces, it was 10 bucks. It reminds me a lot of the Bell & Howell disc lights, which I reviewed in early 2018. Boy, that looks familiar. Actually, I just bought a new package of them because the ones I review are, are kind of old now. And one of them stopped working almost immediately afterwards. So I figured I'd get a fresh batch of the Bell & Howell to compare to the fresh Big Lots. Also, I'm gonna throw another one in the mix. This is a Chinese knockoff from Wish that I did in my Wish versus ASEAN TV comparison, which I'll link above and below. So I'll throw this one out there as well. So let me unbox these, put them out in the sun and see how they look tonight. Big lots. Oh uh, yeah, this looks familiar. Very familiar. These are stakes you use to put in the ground. It goes like this. And these go in these four holes right here, like that. But I'm not using these. I'm just gonna put them on the ground. We've already seen the Chinese Wish fake Bell & Howell disc light. Let's unbox this brand new Bell & Howell disc lights. See, that looks, uh, that looks quite familiar, huh? Bell & Howell. Big lots. Pretty close. At least the Bell & Howell disc lights say Bell & Howell on them. So we've got Bell & Howell, Wish China, and Big Lots. I've got two more of the Bell & Howell, which I'll just set aside for right now. In fact, I might even go grab one of my original ones from the front, throw that one in the mix too, so I'll have four of them to compare. Let's do it right now. All right, these disc lights have been out here for a year and a half. I'll, I'll try to clean that off a little bit and see how it looks compared to the new ones. Before I put these in the yard, how about a quick overview of all four of these? Here are the old Bell & Howell. As you can see, it turned yellow. It has the, uh, the Bell & Howell name though, that's good. The brand new, shiny new Bell & Howell. It's beautiful. Uh, they've added a texture to this button that was not there before, but otherwise it's in pristine condition. The Chinese Wish knockoff also has the same kind of button. And like the Bell & Howell, they have a place you can actually hang it and otherwise looks very similar. Now for the Big Lots version, no place to hang it in the back. It's a slider switch, so definitely a difference, but otherwise, this portion of it looks very, very similar. All right, here we go. I've got the old Bell & Howell disc lights over here from 2018, the brand new ones I just opened. This is the Chinese Wish knockoff. 
and here are the two big lots. Well, look what we got here. The Chinese one from Wish, not working. One of the old ones, also not working. So these are the two brand new Bell and Howells, and these are the big lots, which I really care the most about anyways, but this is what the Bell and Howell will look like in a year and a half. It may work and it may not. And when it does work, it's kind of dim. First use right out of the box, they look pretty good, pretty solid. It's a slightly different color between the two of them, but that's not a problem. I got three Big Lots items at the same time. I got my Big Lots sunglasses, my Big Lots hose. I'm gonna spray the Big Lots disc lights. I am simulating rain. This is not real rain, everybody. This is fake rain. Make sure they're waterproof. All right, tonight I decided to wait a little bit longer. It's almost midnight here, so that means they've been shining for about four hours. All right, well, here we go. The old Bell & Howell disc light, very, very dim. Oh, the other one is not working at all. The Chinese one still doesn't work. This one actually saw flickering when the sun was first going down, so it's not completely dead, but it's just very weak. What I find interesting, though, is that the brand new Bell & Howell disc lights are not as bright as the Big Lots versions. These are clearly brighter than those. It looks like they all held up from being sprayed with a hose earlier, which I'm going to keep doing. But uh, right now I'm a little shocked that these are actually brighter than those. Bell & Howell, Big Lots. Old Bell & Howell, not looking so great. This one does still work. You can see there's light, but it only lasts for not even an hour before it burns out. So I still think there's kind of a tie between the Bell and Howell and the Big Lots. But as you can see, the old Bell and Howell, there's not a lot of consistency between how well they age. This one isn't doing as well as that one. And they both look kind of yellow. All right, guys, it's one o'clock in the morning. So the two Big Lots, you have one still pretty bright and one is barely hanging on. Of the new Bell and Howell disc lights, one is completely out and the other one's hanging on. Of the year and a half old Bell and Howell disc light, we got one kind of hanging on. The big lots look a little bit better. It's shocking. It's raining outside. The wish one is actually working. I can't believe it. All five of them are working for the first time since I've started this test. So the wish one isn't broken, it's just not very good. <laughs> Pull out and unwind it. Okay, I can do that. Establish the entrance in and exit into the hose. I can do that too. What I was wondering about, which I do see, is the warnings in here because a lot of these early retractable hoses, people found out you can't leave them out in the heat because they burst. You can't leave them out in the elements because they burst. You have to drain them after each use because it wears them out faster. That's why I like the metal garden hoses better. But their warnings do uh, account for all of that. In the summer, store in a shaded area. During the winter, store it indoors. Do not leave the water on when not in use. A lot of people like to leave the uh, pressure on their hoses and just use a nozzle. That's not a good idea with any retractable hoses. They never stand up to that. If you want any retractable hose, including this cheap one from Big Lots, to work, you're going to have to drain them after you use them and take them inside after each use. Again, that's why I like the metal garden hose better. I mean, it feels cheap. It feels like a cheap retractable hose. The, the fittings are kind of, are kind of small, kind of uh, thin. I wouldn't expect anything less for a $15 hose. All right, well. So far, so good. Bailey, what do you see? Don't step on, okay, good. No leakage, no leakage. Oh, she's very curious. What do you see, Bailey? What is that? Seems like it's completely expanded. Let's see how it works. Look at all my weeds out here. This is horrible. All right, I'm gonna see if I can water some of these weeds out here. Uh oh, uh oh, there goes Bailey. Bailey. Okay, Bailey approves of it. All right, well, it's, it's, it's working okay. What I'm most curious about is how, how this is gonna hold up though. So it says not to leave it under pressure when you're not using it, but how long should I leave it under pressure, which would be a representative of ordinary use, maybe about 15, 20 minutes? Let's do that. I'm gonna leave it for 15 minutes under pressure and see if it holds up. I mean, it should hold 15 minutes under pressure, right? Right? All right, it's been 15 minutes. No leakage, that's great. I, I, by the way, one more thing I wanna try before I drain this is, a lot of these uh, retractable hoses say that they won't kink. Let's see if that's the case with this one. It doesn't say it on the box, but I'm gonna find out anyways. Let's see, I'm squeezing it here. I would say it's pretty kink free. The flow of water doesn't seem too affected. Oh wait, I just, oh wait, look. Uh oh, got a development here. I did kink it. Oh, oh look, it's not really that kink free. So after about 15 minutes or so, I would say it's, it's held up and it's somewhat kink free. Just gotta drain it now and Bailey really wants this. 
All right, it is retracting now. The initial test of the Big Lots ASC on TV-ish hose did pretty well, but I'm gonna pull out my pocket hose silver bullet now, which admittedly has already passed this test because I did the same test with three hoses and it did pass, but let's see if it continues to pass the test. I've got the pocket hose silver bullet ready to go. Now this does not have the on-off lever that the Big Lots version does. They're both 50 foot hoses, by the way, and we're off. I have used this quite a few times since my original review. It's still held up. No leaks and it looks like it's filled up, so let's uh, give it a little test. I'm squeezing it as hard as I can and it is still working. With the Big Lots hose, when I squeeze it, I could feel that I, if I squeeze it harder, it would, can't, it would cut the flow off. And this one, I do not get that feeling. All right, it's been 15 minutes, and once again, the pocket hose silver bullet has passed the pressure test. I'm gonna drain it, put it away, and we'll do this again tomorrow. And now, before you say this is an unfair test, keep in mind, this is double the price of the Big Lots one, and it's already passed this test. So really, it's just a matter of seeing the Big Lots hose can even hang with this type of hose. And this one at double the price should definitely hang with a brand new Big Lots one that's only 15 bucks. So it's kind of a two-way test. I'm gonna do this again tomorrow and the next day and the next day and see how long it takes before we come to some sort of conclusion. All right, it's time for day number two. But you guys don't wanna see me do the same test over and over again. So this might be a good time for a musical montage to speed things up a little bit. Cue the music right now. Fifteen minutes, day two. Day two for the pocket hose, silver bullet. All right, Billy? All right, it's been 30 minutes. Still holding up. Time to drain it, switch hoses, right, Billy? All right, day three for the pocket hose. It's expanding right now. Day number four. I'm having a slight problem with the pocket hose on day number four. It's, it's not coming out. The pocket hose silver bullet might have, might have bit the bullet. I'm not sure. All right, it's day number five. This is the big test where I do one hour each. So I'm not just putting it under pressure and leaving. I'm actually coming out here and watering a couple of my dead plants and these lights out here to see if they're going to hold up underwater on a daily basis. Doing my best, guys. Bailey. Bailey. It's been an hour and it's still holding up. Every day, Bailey. What a weird daily routine. Very strange. Minimal instructions, that's always good. Here we go, these look extraordinarily familiar. Got four of these for five bucks, so $1.25 a piece. I'm gonna put three of these to the side. This is the Eggs Fast. This is the ASEAN TV Egglets. And this is a Wish knockoff of the ASEAN TV Egglets. The only difference I'm seeing between any of those is that the Egglets has the word Egglets on it. Eggs Fast. Egglets. That one has the word Egglets on it. Otherwise, Pretty similar. Wish, no logo, same ridges as the others. It's time to test these out. First step is to spray them heavily with some cooking spray. I'm gonna do that first. Good stuff here. Wish, egglets, big lots. <coughs> That's enough, I think. Even though I have an extensive collection of egg crackers, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Wish, egglets, big lots. Wish, egglets. I put a little mark here on the Big Lots one to make sure I get that one straight. So there we go, Big Lots. The Big Lots instructions didn't have a time, so the egglets instructions said 13 to 16 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. This isn't really too hot. I mean, I don't know if you should do it with your fingers or not, but I'm doing it. It's not burning me, so I think I'm okay. Belly wants some. Let's start off with uh, the official egglets. Now, if you put a lot of cooking spray in there, you shouldn't have to dig it out with a spoon like they recommend, but I have one on hand just in case. 
and boom, that's right. Woohoo! Let's cut this thing open. All right, we got a pretty good hard boiled leg, I think. Let's move up to the Wish version now. Oh, that one came right out. I attribute that to the cooking spray more than the actual device itself, to be honest. All right, and nicely done, as if I expected anything else. And now drum roll, please. Get the timpani going. It's time for the Big Lots Eggs Fast. Let's check it out. Oh, there we go. Boom. Perfect. All right, they all turned out perfect. And they're all so similar. I mean, you wonder if they're even made in the same place. It's gonna be hard to tell these apart. I've actually had to make marks on them to, make, to keep them separate. So I think in the case of the Big Lots Eggs Fast, it works as well as the egglets. And that concludes yet another egg test on Freaking Reviews. All right, quick recap here with the glasses. I think for 750, I'm not sure because I think they're a little bit below the as seen on TV average. They're not polarized, they feel really cheap. I'm probably gonna stick with the ASEAN TV glasses over these, although neither one are a style I really wear that much. I think if you buy them, they're gonna work okay, but I think there's better options out there. As far as the egglets versus the egg fast goes, they're identical as far as I can tell. There was no difference in their performance, so I mean, if you see them and you wanna pick them up, I say go for it. It's not really a style of egg cooking that I prefer, but it does seem to me like they work equally as well as the ASEAN TV version. Now for my two-week hose comparison, I, I kind of see the retractable hoses as something that you're going to use for a summer, and you're lucky if you get any additional years out of it. So in that case, I think that the perfect hose versus the pocket hose, it worked pretty well. The, the pocket hose feels like it's better made, but in my brief test, I don't really see a huge difference in performance. Now, as far as the disc lights goes, I actually think the Big Lots lights worked better than the ASEAN on TV lights. Now, I haven't tested those long term, but in the couple weeks I tried them out, they were brighter and lasted longer throughout the night. So I actually might go with those over the ASEAN on TV. So it's kind of a mixed bag. Some things work better, some things didn't. The next time you're down the Big Lots aisle, check out the ASEAN on TV section and some of their versions of stuff. Maybe you'll find a good deal there. Have you guys used any of the Big Lots items or ASEAN on TV products shown here? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews. Hey Bailey, let's leave it under pressure for 15 minutes and see how it goes. By the way, those of you complaining for me wearing sunglasses in the shade, this is what I look like without my sunglasses on. It's bright out there. So get out of here.